There is a misconception against Islam that Islam promotes terrorism and Islam promotes violence. This is completely false. This is completely untrue. Islam was born to promote education. Look no farther than Maria Mirjakani. Maria Mirjakani was born in Iran some 45 years ago. It was actually 1977. And, and, and she died in 2017. What's her name? Maria Mirjakani. She was the first woman who won the field medal. Yes, I do. I'm going to start by asking some of the folks here uh, to see if they recognize her. Hey guys, um, uh, can you recognize this mathematician? Who this math mathematician is? No, I don't recognize her. What about what about no, you? No, I don't. So she uh, she was because she died in 2017. She was the first mathematician ever won the field medal in mathematics. Field medal is like Nobel Prize in mathematics. Maria Mijakani was the first woman won the Field medal. Mirza Khani was born in 1977 in Iran. And uh, she died in 2017, so she lived 40 years. In her short life, she changed the world forever. I wasn't always very excited about math. I was more excited about reading novels, and I thought I would become a writer one day. <laughs> So Mari Mijakani was born in uh, 1977 in Iran uh, and she uh, at very early age won Iranian uh, the math Olympiad. Uh, it was actually 1993. But 1994 she won international she won gold medal uh, for international math Olympiad and she scored 41 out of 42. And the next year 1995 she won again she won the gold medal. She won the gold medal in International Math Olympiad. This time she scored 42 out of 42, first Iranian ever. So she won the gold medal, uh, Math Olympiad gold medal twice, 1994-1995. She, uh, that's why she did not have to take the entrance exam at Sharif uh, University, uh, where she got the bachelor degree from. Sharif University is kind of MIT for Iran. And then she uh, she got accepted at Harvard University PhD program at Harvard University, and she moved Harvard University and worked under another field medalist. She did not win the field medal at that time, but she worked under a field medalist to write her PhD thesis. Her PhD thesis and her contribution is in limonian surfaces and in um, and and also she made contribution in um, uh, uh, modular spaces. Uh, so uh, let me give you an example of our work. If you have a geometry and if you have a dynamics, for example, you want to put it together. Let's talk about the solar system. Yeah, in the solar system, if you look at the solar system, what do you see? You see the planets, right? And you see the sun and planets and sun, for example, of a geometry, fixed shape, fixed location. So this is an example of geometry. And then, you know, you, you look at the solar system, you just don't see them just sitting or static you see them moving you see the earth orbiting around the sun uh, and that is dynamics forces for example responsible for earth to moving around the around the sun and sun is also moving around the galaxy for example and this is the force behind it so if you put it together and that what you get the modular spaces put it in different context so you probably will understand billiard uh, billiard ball if you strike a billiard ball what happened if you strike a billiard ball the billiard ball of course you're going to remove the friction if you strike a billiard ball that's what mariam was thinking if i strike a billiard ball what's going to be the behavior of a billiard ball and she was also raising posing the question if i if I uh, let a beam of light go in the mirror, in the mirror box, right, what would be the behavior of that photon? So will the photon be covering every single space or would there be any gap? Because the billiard ball and, f and beam of light behave the same way if you uh, use the light as a particle, which she did, 
um, and she raised a question will the billiard ball cover every spaces in the billiard board or will it have a gap or will the path of the billiard board be periodic so there are lots of options would it be uh, would there be any gap would it be continuous would it be periodic will it kind of like you know uh, go through every single line and leaving no gap making the making the making the billiard board like without gap the the path of the billiard ball after you striking or would it be chaotic meaning that it's gonna go to the random direction this time the the trial number one has nothing to do with trial number two and has nothing to do with trial number three so the behavior uh, or the, the 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 behavior of first trial doesn't match with the behavior of second trial so this is what she worked on and for that she won the nobel prize in mathematics which is called fields uh, field medal and she worked from 2004 to 2008 she worked as a math professor at Princeton and from 2008 to 2017 she worked as a math professor at the Princeton University um, uh, she was married to a, um, a Czech man he was uh, she was married to a computer scientist and together they had a daughter she survived a, a car accident in 1998 however uh, in uh, 2017 she died in cancer.